What's going on and welcome back to another unboxing video where today, as I stated in the last one, it's going to be the Razer Chroma light strip. So I believe the light strips are actually the first that Razer's actually released where it's not part of a keyboard or a mouse or any form of that RBG, but I think it's the first thing they've ever released separately as their own light strip. Um, inside the box does come with three light strips, which is one is 100 centimeters and two at 50 centimeters. It also comes with a brackets for each of your strips and also some adhesive to stick them on as well. So it will directly connect to your Razer sign up. So you will need to get that installed as well. So you can put the set all the color on it and everything. We'll go through that as well. Um, and it will be able to like link up to your keyboard, your mouse, you can sync them together. You can have it be reactive to the sound of gameplay and all that kind of stuff. But first of all, let's open it up and see what we get inside. Right, so we've got the normal standard razor green and black box as always, as all the products come in. If we open this up, we can see the motto there for gamers, by gamers. And then we can see the contents. So this is the manual, uh, as every box will come with. And then the razor sticker as well. Then the we have the two 50 centimeters LEDs. And then also the 100 centimeter LEDs. Next up, we have the UK. Uh, well, it's not the UK power. It's the universal power adapter. Uh, and then the wireless hyperspeed Bluetooth connection with the USB port as well. So let's close that up. We don't need this anymore. And we can just throw that to one side. So if we unpack this, this should be the UK adapter, which it is. So then, yeah, this is the main hub that you'll plug all your uh, LEDs into and your power supply. And oh my God, that's not annoying. Move out the way. Oh, and then we've got the uh, universal power adapter, which we can just attach the UK end onto. Pop like that. And now this is the two 50 centimeters LED strips, quite flexible. And then we have the 100 centimeter, which will be more for you like your central uh, one you'll use and then your connectors as well which will connect to the hubs and or connect them to each other okay that wasn't supposed to happen but there's all your <laughs> attachments that you can attach to your desks and your adhesive stickers as well next quick steps is plug your usb into your pc grab yourself a bracket grab yourself a sticky adhesive stick it to the back of the bracket and then peel off the sticky thing whatever it is and then attach it to the back of your shelving like I'm doing or whatever you want to do. And I'm just going to place the three that I've got remaining, which I'm going to put four on the back of this, I think. Which it feels like it's you know strong enough. And I'm just going to grab the wire that's connected to the LED strip and connect it to the hub. And as you can see, there is a couple more ports as well on the hub, which is for the, the, the other LED strips. But I'm only going to connect one at this time just due to space for me. Okay, once you've plugged it all in and you have it all ready, I've created a realistic scenario. As you can see, I've just put a couple of objects on the shelf here. And then if you actually open the Razer Synapse app, and you'll actually see devices now. So you've got the Razer Chroma Wireless ARGB controller. Just give that a click. And then in here, you can change a couple of things. You can rename the port as well. If you click on the three dots up top and go to Studio, you can actually see the setup here. And as you know, I've only put one strip in just for now. And you can I can change these to whatever. So these are all synced up now to, to, to one another. So what I'm going to do is you can play around with a couple of things. So as you can see, the lights are currently in a wave cycle. Uh, and we can change it as well. So let's go into a, a paint bucket and just grab the fire. And let's just drop that on there and paint that and then click save. And then you should see the lights now have currently changed color. And they'll go from orange to red. Uh, we can also do other things. If I just move this over here and then bring up Spotify, you can see Stream Beats by Harry Teller. And then if you click Audio Meter and then we'll drip that onto there and then click Save. Now press Play. You can actually see that the razor lights are now reactive to the sound. So, you know, if you was in a bit more of a party mood or you could link that up to your stream music, you could do that as well. It can also do a lot, lot more as well. But unfortunately, that's going to be it for this video on this unboxing. And again, Razor, thank you so much for sending me the products. And guys, I hope you're enjoying this type of content. 
just because it is something different and something new to me. So I'm adapting at the same time and I am reading your comments and I am taking in your feedback. And I hope you're enjoying the fast pace, the more under five minutes I'm aiming for um, to try to keep your attention and also to make sure that you can quickly watch the video, make it quick and simple and easy for you to watch, for you then to take it to go and implement it yourself. But again, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, leave a comment if you've got any questions. And also, I do stream over on Twitch. We can check the link in the description. Uh, give me a click, give me a follow. And then also, if you want to buy, a, buy yourself a Razer Chroma Light Strip yourself, there's a link as well for that. And again, I'll see you in another stream. Not a, it's not a stream, this, is it? This is a video. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. And keep smiling and I'll see you in another video.